everyone, we're out here on a beautiful morning on the Pinochi Hills, uh, one of my favorite places to go birding in Fresno. It's uh, New Year's Eve 2019 and uh, closing up this year, um, just excited about everything this year has brought. I uh, set a record for eBird in Fresno County for how many species I found this year which was my goal. Uh, my goal is to pass 230 and I hit it, I hit 231 and who knows, if I find some today, maybe I'll even be a little higher. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just been an amazing year in birding for me. I've just been so lucky to see all the things I've been able to see. And uh, this upcoming year, I just really wanted to get in and focus on my wildlife photography. Um, so I figured, hey, why not start a YouTube channel with it? So here I am starting a YouTube channel for you guys all to follow. Thank you for coming over here. Um, yeah, thank you just for supporting me for so long, some of you guys. Um, and hopefully this YouTube thing will um, take off a little bit. But um, for now, just going to have a good day at Pinochi. And I'm um, going to key you guys in a lot more as the day comes. But it's just a gorgeous sunrise. And you guys got to check out some of these views. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It's my favorite place in all Fresno. So um, with that, let's go adventure. everyone so um, we're out here in Pinochi and uh, one of the things we're looking for today um, is uh, some types of sage sparrows so out here in Pinochi we got um, bell sparrows and we have sagebrush sparrows and uh, bell sparrows are the more common here sagebrush sparrows are a little bit rarer but both are pretty hard to find but the cool thing about them is this is about the only place in Fresno County that you can find these guys so uh, I saw them once earlier this year so I actually do have them checked off my uh, eBird list already <laughs> for this year but um, they're just a beautiful bird and I just want to get photographs of them that are good because uh, photographs I got before are pretty sucky <laughs> um, so um, if we're lucky we'll get some of those today um, another bird we're looking for is a, a chuck art that one I've not seen this year and uh, I was really hoping I can get it before the end of this year uh, never got to see that guy before um, I just would love to see him um, so um, yeah, we're gonna be on the lookout for those. Maybe if we're lucky an owl will fly by today But um, that's kind of what we're searching for. So let's see how we do So a lot of this is not easy stuff um, If you look over that way It is a lot of canyons That I've been walking through. Let's see if we can brighten this There's canyons all the way through, wrapped around these canyons up and down, and they're very steep but when it gets to the centers. Let's take a look here. Yeah, they're steep. Um, so I've been sliding down these mud cliffs quite a bit today, but um, it's been good. Gonna get better, keep going. And in case you doubted me about it being far away, yeah. And this is only about a quarter or an eighth of what I've hiked. So, yeah. All right, guys, so um, we got some western meadowlarks that I ran into a flock of them. And uh, they're not necessarily super hard to see around here, but we're going to get some photographs of them anyways because I don't have any good photographs of them yet. So I'm going to look around and see if we can get one of these guys good. Um, they're uh, very, very skittish. So... They're pretty difficult to get um, get good shots of, but if we're lucky, maybe we'll uh, be able to. So currently, I'm out here, and I just turned on the camera because. Uh, Today I didn't get too lucky with Western Meadowlark. I got one shot, but nothing uh, really that great. Um, but um, I'm here with some horned larks um, around the side of this bush. So I spotted them from a distance and I um, went around, um, got behind this bush, crept up behind this bush, and then I just set up camp back here. So um, we're gonna see if I can get some shots of them. And uh, yeah, I have nice ground for my level and they seem to be grazing and um, not really too worried about me because I'm hiding enough behind the bush and I'm hidden enough to where they don't really 
think of me as a big threatening predator. Um, and they're creeping up pretty close. We'll see if we can get even better shots. you're looking for and today I didn't find what I was looking for but that's okay because I already got more than I ever asked for this year it's been a really awesome year um, and I'm really looking forward to this upcoming year and trying out this whole thing um, but uh, yeah we got some good photos today still of some other species and uh, yeah some other things I wasn't able to record on the way in um, I believe I saw what was a bobcat up in here um, but it was pre-sunrise like probably like 20 30 minutes before sunrise uh, before I had my cameras out or anything and it flushed as soon as I saw it but that was really cool um, and then uh, and then uh, what else have we seen we've seen a, a mountain bluebird on uh, the way back down and uh, we got to see all those horned larks a lot of western meadow larks today uh, lark sparrows some other types of uh, birds and uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. Just so you guys know, um, I want to be doing lots of different types of videos. Um, I want to be doing videos like this, where I guys take you out on an exploration or an adventure with me basically for a day, maybe a couple days. Um, so doing some of that. But I also want to make sure that I'm going to do um, tutorials for you guys and like how to's and how do you do this or um, how do you do that or how do you know this or how do you know when to do this. Um, yeah, just teach you guys all that. Whether that's camera rules, I'm going to work with you guys on a lot of camera rules for wildlife photography. Um, ways that you can be creative with it, ways you can break those rules, um, ways you can know your camera better. Um, teach you lots of ways in terms of like how to capture birds. That is by far the hardest part. It's like how do you know where to find these birds? How do you research these things, study these things? How do you know where they're going to land? How do you know where they're going to perch? How do you know how they're going to move? All those different things. Um, uh, so I want to teach you guys a lot of that and uh, hopefully just anything else that would be useful for you guys in wildlife photography. So uh, stay tuned. There's definitely so much more coming. Uh, thank you for watching my first video ever, first time doing this, and uh, so much better stuff to come. Alright, see you guys later.